Hi there, my name is Sam Downing. I'm the fitness editor at Nine Honey. Today you and I are gonna do a 20 minute HIIT workout together. So the way this is gonna work is we've got 20 moves. We're just gonna work for 40 seconds each time, take a little 20 second breather, and then go on to the next move. So before we start, what I want you to do is just warm yourself up, get your muscles firing, get your heart rate going, and then crank up your favorite tune, and we're gonna get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start this workout. For our first move, just come into a nice light jog for me, nothing too strenuous getting our body working before we kick off in about five seconds or so. So let's get the fun started. What we're gonna do for our first exercise is 10 high knees, 10 of these, followed by 10 butt kicks. So try and get your knees up nice and high out in the front, and then your heels right up to your butt at the back. So the beauty of any HIIT workout is that you can really take it at your own pace. So if you just wanna march on the spot with high knees like that, and then get your heels up like that, that's fine. Every exercise you can modify, I'll try to help you scale it. I just want you to take it at your own pace. So 10 of these at the back, then another 10 at the front. You don't have to bust your boiler if you don't want to. It's just all about a level that you can maintain throughout this whole 20 minute exercise. All right, that's one down. Nice and easy to start, right? So have a little breather for 20 seconds. An next exercise is gonna be seal jacks. So it's kind of like the traditional jumping jack, but Instead of getting your arms overhead, they're just gonna come out to the side. So, nice little break in between each exercise. Get your heart rate up, then a little bit down before we start the next one. Okay, so let's go. So, arms out here. So, with the seal jack, try to make the movements nice and sharp. Don't have sloppy kind of seal jacks like this. I see that a lot when I'm coaching people. Keep these arms in front, up at your eye line ahead of you. Gotta keep the tension on your shoulders. Again, if you need to take a break, don't stop. Just come back and step out to the side like this, rather than slow down altogether. All right, we've got 15 seconds left here. How are you feeling? This is only number two. All right, keep it going for me. Two down, 18 to go. So our next exercise, start setting it up. You're gonna come down to the floor for me. We're gonna come into a high push-up position. So make sure that your hands are stacked directly underneath your shoulders. For this one, come off off the floor. And we're gonna do mountain climbers. Mountain climbers are a bit of a fixture in just about every hip class nowadays. So ready, 40 seconds on. So just step in and out and try to keep it at a pace that you think you're gonna be able to maintain that whole 40 seconds. Again, if your pace is just in and out nice and slow like that, that's not a problem, but if you want to start getting your heart racing up nice and early in this workout, you can get up to a nice little tempo on this one. Just as I said, make sure that your shoulders are directly over your wrists. So don't work from back here, keep in the front here, and keep your butt down, not up here. So nice and low, so you can engage your core like that. So we're nearly done on this exercise. So our next exercise is just going to be a lunge. So there's a couple of modifications that we can have on this one. Uh, so you can either do just a jumping lunge or a stepping lunge. Again, whatever level you're, you're working at. So a little breather for five more seconds. You guys don't have to talk, I do, so it's a bit harder for me. All right, let's go. So lunge like this, keeping the weight in the front foot. The modification is just stepping in, stepping out, stepping in, stepping out. So whichever one you do, you want to try and get that back knee right down close to the ground. And imagine with the lunge that you're jumping on train tracks, so your feet are parallel rather than just coming one in front of the other. So lunge is a great lower body workout. You can feel this in your legs, feel this in your butt. That's good. It means you're doing it right. All right, five more seconds. By now your heart rate should be nice and up, nice and high. Good news is the next one's a little bit easier. So come down here on your back form. You're gonna do a core exercise, just on the ground. So get your shoulders off the ground, bring your rib, lower ribs up into your hips. We're just gonna go opposite shoulder to opposite knee. So really try and keep those shoulders right up off the ground. And with this movement, this bicycle kick, cross crawl movement, whatever you wanna call it, focus on getting your shoulder across to your opposite knee, rather than just kind of pulling with your elbows. You want to try and get your elbows nice and wide in the back of your head. All right, 
keep it going. Try and pull your ribs a little further into your hips. All right, keep it up. We've still got about five seconds left. Uh, huh, huh. A little burner for your core there, so. All right, come back up onto your feet. We're gonna go back into another little uh, cardio exercise next. But first, just have a little breather, catch your breath. And when you're ready, all right. <clears throat> Take about five seconds to go. So what we're gonna do on this one, we're gonna come down, tap the ground, jump up, come down, tap the ground on the other side. So ready, let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Again, if you wanna make it easier, just come down to the side, come up, just step back. Just always be taking these exercises at your own pace. Come down as low as you can go. Just listen to your body throughout these, throughout these movements. So up, down, up, down. Got 15 seconds to go. Up, down. Try and get right down to the ground if you can. Touching that, we've got 10 seconds. So keep it up. Up, down. Try and scoot that a couple more before the end. Great, that's another 40 seconds down. Next one's gonna be a little bit easier. We're gonna come into a classic chest exercise, the push-up. So start just here on the ground, uh, wrists underneath, wrists under shoulders. You can work from your knees if you want to, or from your toes, whichever one you're comfortable with. All right, let's get it started. So straight down, straight up. So try to maintain a pace that you can work at for the whole 40 seconds. That might be really fast, might be really slow, Whatever, whatever level you're at is just fine. If push-ups from your knees are still a bit of a challenge, go and find a kitchen bench or a table, put your hands on the edge, and then get it going from there. So it's all about finding that level that you can work at. Make sure when you're going down, I'm always correcting people on this, your neck's not craning too far to the floor. Keep that chin locked in nice and tight as you go up and down. We've just got a couple more. Ah. I oh, hope you felt that burning in your chest by the end there. So a little 20 second break. Don't go too far, because we're actually gonna be back on the ground for this next one, another little core exercise. So come, just start for me, just on all fours here, with your toes tucked under. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift your knees just an inch or two off the floor, and we're just gonna crawl a little bit forward, then a little bit back, not too far, just about three or four steps for each one. And you wanna keep that core, your abs locked in nice and tight this whole time. So this is what we call a bear crawl and a really good functional exercise for your core. So we're already halfway there on this one. So nice controlled movement. Don't have to do this one too fast. You really want to keep your core as still as possible. That's what's going to engage all those movements. So forward and back. All right, back up on your feet. A little bit more hard stuff starts again for this next one. So just catch your breath, shake it out if you need to. All right, so what we're gonna do, another kind of little lunge variation. We're gonna start by taking a step back. So step back, you're gonna drive your knee forward. Step back, drive your knee forward. We're gonna do two on each side. On each side. So if you wanna make this one a little harder. When you drive up, I'm gonna add a little jump to this one. So just two on each side, a little jump. Two on each side, a little jump. Oh. And all the weight is in that front leg for these ones. So again, if you want to, just drive straight up and down. Straight up and down. Whatever one you're most comfortable working at. Three, two, one. Good. All right, take a little break. More leg exercises are coming up next. We're gonna do a little body weight squat. So this one I want you to do a little variation called a prisoner squat. We're gonna have our, our arms up above our head. Keep our chest nice and open. Back on in three, two, one. So just start here with this little body weight squat. And again, you can always make these harder. What we're gonna do, if you wanna take it up, just add that jump. So if you are jumping, make sure every time that you catch yourself in that jump. So never land with straight legs. You always want soft knees coming up and down. 
We've got 15 seconds left. Keep your chest up, nice and open. Bring your hips back when you squat, 10 seconds. Oh, I don't know about you, but my legs are on fire right now. All right, you need at least one more. And one more, good. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is getting tough. That's good. I always want exercise to be hard. So another 10 seconds or so for our little break. And then we're just gonna do little shuffles from side to side. All right, three, two, one. So just like this. So again, always at that pace you can maintain. And if you don't wanna jump, you wanna make it a bit, bit lower impact, just step out to the side like that. And if you wanna make it a little bit harder, which I don't, but I'm going to anyway, just reaching oh, all the way, all the way to the ground. <sighs> opposite hand, opposite foot, which is obviously a bit of a challenge for me. Right, there's less than 10 seconds in this one. Keep it up. <sighs> all right, stop. <sighs> Have a little breath. So next one, we're gonna have a chance to catch our breath. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stand on one foot, just a single leg deadlift. Whew. Oh, I'm pooped. All right, ready? A little balance exercise. So one foot on the ground, reach forward with one hand, doesn't really matter which one. And then back foot comes right up, hip comes back, then step up and change legs. This one's all about control. Balance is a really underrated skill to work on. If you're struggling, really focus on driving that foot into the floor. You're planting yourself in, getting that hip back, getting that back foot right up and reaching right forward. Almost like I'm pulling you. A couple more on each side. All right, last one. Reach right, 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 right forward. Good. That was easy. Unfortunately, they're not all gonna be like that. So, our next one is another jumping exercise. I know you love these as much as I do. So, we're gonna be back on in five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. So, jump to the side, up, step to the side, up. So, get that nice little pattern happening. Really use your arms to throw yourself up and stepping across lightly to the side. So, it's just a little tap and then straight up. So, get this one a little bit easier. You just go like that, a little jump. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. You know, it's a squat up and down. But again, it's all about finding that level that you're comfortable working. All right, we've got 10 seconds left in this one. Really use those arms to drive up that jump. Three, two, one. Oh. All right. Got my little microphone friend here, I'm gonna tuck him under. So, our next one, another one on the ground. It's another core exercise. So, come down here, drive that elbow firmly into the ground, get that knee up on the floor, or you can work up here. Ready, we're off in three, two, one. So, just a little pulse. Make sure you're squeezing your butt to bring your hips forward. Your butt's not back here in a C shape, just a little movement. It's only about an inch or so and you really feel it burning under here. It's like somebody's got a blowtorch here. So, coming up to the halfway point, we're gonna flip over. All right, ready, quick. Exact same thing on the other side. Just little pulses. I hope you moved as quickly as I did. You didn't use that for a chance to sneak a little break. Oh, 10 seconds left. Just a little movement. You wanna feel it burning right there on the side. A couple more. Oh, all right, good. 20 seconds break, come up on your feet. Next one's gonna be another little hard one. So we already did our mountain climber before. This one's gonna be a mountain climber variation. Again, shoulders right over wrists. And instead of stepping in, I want you to jump in. So let's go, 40 seconds. In, out, in, out, in, out. So find a pace you can work out. As long as you're pushing yourself just a little bit further than your comfort zone, you want this to be a little bit hard, because that's where you're gonna get fit. In and out, in and out. All right, let's 
try and pick it up. Just finish this one off. We've got 10 seconds left. All right, in and out. Just finish this one off. All right, good. Come back up on your feet. So next one, another leg exercise. Ooh, nice little bead of sweat that came off there. I'm just gonna do a sumo squat. So with this one, feet need to be nice and wide. Toes are pointing out at about 45 degrees. Arms up in front of you. All right, ready? And come down and up and up. So bring your hips right back. I always like to say to people that on a squat, you kind of want to imagine that you're sitting on a dirty public toilet seat. It's going to hover over it without touching it. So just, just down as deep as you can manage into that squat. And if you want to make it harder, which you do, I'm just going to pulse here at the bottom. Keep your chest up, keep your shoulders back. And this one really burns. You can feel this one right here. I keep my knees out, don't let them cave in like that. Engaging these muscles in, the, in your glutes to keep up. Three, two, one. Ah, that one really burns in here at the end. Huh. All right, next one we're gonna get our heart rate back up again. Assuming it came down, which it probably didn't. So, another little 10 second breather, and then we're gonna come into an ice skater. So, just stepping across like that. All right, ready? Three, two, one. So, when you jump, that back foot can lightly tap the floor if need be, or you can just keep it off to make this movement a little bit harder. So you can stay here, you can just step from side to side, or you can really pick up the intensity. So try to get a little bit of height in this move. Bend that front leg to catch your weight in your thigh and in your butt. We've got 10 seconds left to so keep that firing for me. Ah, ah. 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 That is deceptively hard. We've only got a few more, that's the good news. This next one's pretty easy. So come into the ground for me, lying down. Ah. Bring your palms out to the hands out to the side, palms facing up, heels in nice and close, and you're gonna squeeze your butt. So lift your hips up, come down, light tap on the floor, straight back up. So it is just a light tap. Don't rest at the bottom. Big squeeze at the top. You want to be squeezing your butt as hard as you can. And I often joke to people, this move is a little bit porno, which it is, so make sure your family, housemate, whoever is out of the room while you do it. We'll just do it here together. <laughs> All right, keep it going. Big squeeze at the top. Just a light tap at the bottom. All right, just give me a couple more on this one. Squeezing as hard as you can. All right, last one, good. All right, now come up for me. We've just got a couple more. These are gonna be really hard, so everything you've got left in this last 20 minutes, I want you to give it to me now. So this one's gonna be a speed burpee. Burpees are awful, but there's no push up in this one. So what you're gonna do is go straight down, jump in, jump out, and up. All right, ready? Let's go down, jump in, jump out, up, down, in. Now, you can pick the tempo you want to work at. So, if you just want to stand up, come down, step back like this, and then step back in, that's completely fine. Just at a pace that you can maintain for the rest of this set, which, good news, is already halfway over. So, whichever level you're working at, I want you to try and take it up a couple of notches for these last 10 seconds, a little bit faster. Sweat should be flying off by now. All right, five to go. All right, one more if you've got it. Ah, all right. It's 19 down. We've got one more. One more. Burpees, I think, are the worst, so they are over. All right, in 10 seconds, we're gonna go back to that high knees we did all that march. We're just gonna belt it 40 seconds. So, three, two, one. All right, so lean back a little, lock in your core, and really throw your knees right up and get your arms working too. All right, keep it going guys. We're gonna finish this off strong. All right, these last 20 seconds. Can you work a little bit harder? 
All right, 15 seconds. This last 10 seconds, all that sprint. Ready? Let's go. Ah. 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 Three, two, one. Ah. Ah. That's it, 20 down. 20 down, 20 minutes, we're done. Now my watch tells me that I burned 250 active calories. So that's not bad for 20 minutes of work. So just take a few minutes now to cool down. I know that I'll need it. Just catch your breath, stretch out all your major muscles, and you're done. Do a workout like that maybe two or three times a week, and you'll be well underway for that weekly physical activity goal.